to enable presents mathematical literacy, assembly diagrams, four plans, and packaging. Lesson three. Okay, welcome to week 27, 28 already. Um, we last week we started assembly diagrams, four plans, and packaging, and this week we're continuing with that. Right, we're working with everything maths.co.za's work. Remember, you have to register on this w website if you want to use the work. Click on Read a Textbook and then on Read Math Literacy 10. Um, the first question, working working with scale floor plans, example 3. Um, the first two examples was in last week's work, so that's why we're on example 3 already. Um, your school is building a new classroom. The measurements of the classrooms are as follows. The length of the walls are 5 meters. So, and the width of the walls are 110 millimeters. Remember, you have to always use the same unit. So either convert everything to millimeters, a thousand millimeters in one meter, or everything to meters. Width of the window is a thousand millimeters. Width of the door is 810, so it's a square classroom, sorry. Um, you have to draw a plan of the room using a scale 1 to 50. You have to place a door and two windows on each wall. Another wall must be 3 meters, sorry, 5 meters by 3 meters. Two walls have no windows. Use the appropriate symbols in your plan. If the school wants to make blinds out of fabric for the classroom windows and the blinds are the same size as the windows, calculate the total length of material that needs to be bought. If the material, the fabric actually, we say fabric for the blinds costs 60 rand per meter, calculate the total cost of the fabric for the blinds. The school needs to tile the floor of the classroom, calculate the total area that must be tiled. If the tiles come in 4 squared meters, how many boxes must the school buy? Explain your answer. If the tile costs 150 rand per box, calculate how much the tiles will cost. Exercise 2. The diagram shows uh, a classroom that has been drawn with a scale of 1 to 100. Okay, so now actually you have to measure the length of the classroom with a ruler, but remember because we have uh, made the picture slightly bigger and it's quite small on your cell phone, um, I've given you the measurement which is 13 centimeters, supposed to be the width of the classroom, 8 centimeters, the length of the checkered rug, that's checkered. 3 centimeters and the width of the checkered rug is 2 centimeters. So you have to show your calculation. Remember, this is the scale and the measurement in real life. The teacher wants to replace the checkered rug. Calculate how big the new rug must be in squared meters. If the rug costs 800 rand in total, determine the cost per square meter. Okay, so that's your question. And this is it for today. Please remember to first complete this exercise before you look at tomorrow's memo. Otherwise, you are wasting your time. Thank you.